hello today i'm going to show you how to apply the stick on elbow patches and you can get them online and that's how they come with the grease proofy sticky backing on them ready to put on and sew now i'm just using a, a sleeve today with a hole in it now if the hole is really really large it's often better to put a sew on patch on from the inside because otherwise what happens is that you get sticky going through the big hole and then it can catch on your shirt sleeves or at first it catches on the other side of the sleeve but this hole will knit together quite easily so i don't need to put a patch on the back now it's best not to try to peel off this paper from the edge because it sort of makes the edge not quite as clean cut so i usually just score it and then you find that the grease proofy bit peels off and it doesn't damage your edge and you're left with i'm not sure whether you can see but you've got a film of gluey residue under the grease proof so that's going to stick now again two dots on the iron and some steam now this is a case for a bit bolder press so you're going to position it over the hole and sort of about eight seconds but you don't want to really damage the pile and i pressed it for eight seconds but now i'm hovering and that, that should be okay now we will see if it's stuck because you can see now that bit isn't stuck right but that bit is so it just needs a little bit more but don't overdo it or else you'll get a shiny sleeve and it will press the pile down just gently as you go now it looks all right now that so it's stuck all the way i'm going to sew that on now but i'll just give you a word about putting the matching elbow patch on for the other side where we can we would put it in the same position to match but often i have found more and more that for some reason or other the holes don't always go exactly in the same place on both elbows so what i like to do is if i've got an elbow patch there i would then put the sleeve and you've got to make sure that you've got both backs both back sleeves if you put them together with your other elbow patch on top so if we do that like that and this is these don't match but put them like that so that you're going to get that patch in the same place on your sleeve if you think it's worn in the same place if it hasn't you just have to adjust the position of your elbow patch and it might look uneven but if that's how it is that's where the repairs are needed so then i would just press it like that very lightly and then that would i'm not taking this off because i want to use it but i'll just press it very lightly and, and then it would be in position to match and then i would iron it so then you've got them both in the same place if that's what's going to work so now we're going to sew this on now to sew it on i'm going to turn the sleeve to the outside now it has just slightly stuck it's okay and that's all stuck together now if you wanted to just catch it in with a hand stitch you could but we're going to press it again and you usually find that on a small opening like that it presses very stable i've turned it wrong side out but i'm going to sew from the right side and this is quite simply because it makes it easier and the narrower your sleeve is the more difficult it is this is actually quite a wide sleeve but you've normally got a jumper attached on the end of here and so there's a lot of wool about and you need to be able to get in and if you've turned it wrong side out you can get in and you still might not have a lot of room but you're doing it the right way on believe me it makes a lot of difference if you try to do it from the right side and you're doing it on top of there it's not as easy as opening it up to do it like that you've got it's much easier to do it so again now i'm doing a zigzag and i'm using a contrast thread but i'm going to show you also another stitch that you can use now it does depend on your machine and it really makes it quite nice and that is a stitch that actually looks it's like a blanket stitch and that is really nice for sewing on an elbow patch now all machines don't have that stitch but a lot of the modern ones do and they also have that one now the stitches are often if your machine has got them your machine often also has 
settings for stretch fabrics. So, hey Pistol, you just press a few buttons and there you go. If you haven't got a setting for stretch fabrics, and I keep saying this because it is so important and it's where the mistakes are made, you do need to have a practice. When you're sewing elbow patches on, as opposed to making a tank top, you might not have a spare piece of cashmere. And if you haven't, just a piece of wool off an old wool jumper or even a piece off a cotton t-shirt will work for a practice. So you need to practice with a reduced tension and if you can, a reduced pressure foot pressure because that makes going round the curves much more easily. What you don't want is the cashmere to drag as it's going round the curves. So it is important to practice. The zigzag stitch is easier. It's very easy to, to if you've got your tensions right and everything, it's easy to do. And the stick-on patches, you can sew them on by hand, but I do tend to find that the glue sort of makes the needle not go in and out very easily. So I tend to sew the stick-on ones by machine. And using a zigzag means that you've got some stretch. So we've now sewn on our patch. Trim off the ends and we'll give it a nice press from the inside. The first press, quite bold, two dots on the iron, some steam, and you're on the inside so you can press a bit firmer. And if you find that the hole is not glued down, you could just put a little bit of hand stitching in there. And then right side, trim off your thread. Not, not quite so hard on this side because you're on the right side. Bit of hovering, bit of steam, just to set your stitches in the middle. And there you are. You've got a nicely sewn on elbow patch. You've got, I've got a jumper again that you're going to use that you couldn't use before.